This has been in my heart for the longest time. The Lord God has been talking with me in my heart. He wanted me to use this video to preach to the world. Even so, this is my third time. Whoever ever do this, but all oh, my desire, my desire is to him, for him to use me, mightily as never before. I'm going to talk about like repentance, um, which is in Luke. 16, 19 to 26, uh, and he say, he says, there was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple, in purple and fine linen, lined it and far spontaneously every day and fair spontaneously every day and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and the desire and the desiring and desiring to feed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table Moreover, the dogs came and licked his souls. And it comes to pass, the beggar died and was carried by angels in Abraham's bosoms. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and sees and sees Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosoms. Okay. In his bosoms, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now is comforted, and thou art tormented. 26. And if he says all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that will come from thence. Amen. To tell you the truth, we are in the last day. Jesus said that go through the word and preach the good news to every creature. Can, can't you hear? Can't you hear the rumor of war? Can't you see nation arising against nation? This is the sign that Jesus is coming. And when he come, where is he going to find you? Let me tell you the truth. Hell is real. Repent and come to Jesus.
for what I just read, which is written in the Bible, it is the truth. My brother and sister, Jesus is coming. Repent and accept him as your Lord and personal Lord and Savior. As your Lord and Savior. And so on. There are a lot of scriptures which talk about hell. Starting from Revelation 21, 8, Daniel 12, 3 to 3, Jude 7, and so on. Again, go all through of them through the scripture because my video is going to be long tell me are you going to accept Jesus now before it's too late my brother and sister I love you Neither do I want you to spend your eternity in fire and brainstorms. Would you mind telling me? What can profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? You can spend all your life going to party nightclub, drinking, smoke, and all the sin of this world. Jesus loves you. And he wanted to spend eternity. And he wanted to spend eternity with you, with him. Don't you want to live in a place where there is not going to be gnashings, gnashing of teeth street of gold and much world which I lose to describe to describe it all pastor in the world, it is time for you all to preach the truth. It is no time to preach about planting seed, about God's love only, and other good things, other good stuff that is going to tickle your sheep here, but the truth. My fellow brethren and sister who God chose to take care of his flocks, it is time to preach repentance and cleanliness of by the precious blood of Jesus. Oh, I shall come, I shall tell you that there shall come a day where every nation shall gather before the throne of God. Wearing in white garments, they shall sing and celebrate A new song. Because I want to be there. I want to see Jesus face to face. In there. There shall not be pain. Sorrows. Sickness. Or death.
men of God who have been given charge to be shepherd of God's flocks it is time to preach about truth of repentance about truth of repentance it's not time to fear for for that many of your sheep getting out of your church or this or that because when you stand before when you stand before that the great white throne of judgment it is going to be only you and God not your family friends and fellow members in the church it is going to be only you what are you going to tell him when he has you when he ask you about the talent he gave you are you going to tell him that you have gone you have gone through us and add five more two more or hidden under near the earth I rather be a superstar of Jesus than of this world. Sure, people may applaud for you, hooted, cheer, and love you. But the day you crumble and lose all, every one of them will leave you. I rather wait for the reward up there. on streets of gold then reward of this world 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 where all wealth will be rotten to nothing our crown of life waiting for me that is my reward Men servants of God wake up and tell your flocks that the Lord gave you the true doctrine hallelujah amen